it's comically easy to vacate the speaker based on the rules they passed. However, I think it's important to understand why that rule happened. It happened because McCarthy was so desperate to become speaker. If you go back to the history of this thing, McCarthy was actually passed over for speaker back in 2015 when he made this gaffe on TV about the Benghazi Select Committee being set up to hurt Hillary's poll numbers. Obviously, that wasn't an admission that helped Republicans. And he only got the job this year by making it so easy to take it away from him. And remember, they did like 15 rounds of voting. So this is the problem. Frankly, one of the problems with McCarthy is he is a little bit too desperate to have the job. Sometimes when you get a guy who is so desperate for a job, they're not that effective in it because they're too worried about it being taken away. What you want is a guy who is like, look, take it or leave it. I could do this job or not do this job. That's the only way you're going to get somebody tough in the job. I think the guy they should look to right now would be Jim Jordan. I think Jim Jordan would be excellent because at the end of the day, you want a speaker who's going to be feared, not loved like Nancy Pelosi. Quite frankly, you need a Republican speaker who's going to be tough, who doesn't give a shit if you like him or not. I mean, this is, I think, Kevin's downfall is that he cared too much about people liking him. As a result, in the room, he would always tell you something that you liked. But the problem is that he can't deliver on that. 